The Cloud Connect Advanced, CCA, and Tygo Access Point, TAP, are key components of the Tygo Monitoring Group product family. This video will focus on the installation of these communication devices. To learn more about the features and benefits of the CCA and TAP, please check our links in the video description. The CCA and TAP must be hardwired together using an RS-485 cable or equivalent. The TAP is installed on the roof, preferably in the center of the array for maximum TS4 connectivity. Miswiring is a common cause of a system malfunction, but it can be 100% preventable if you follow these easy installation steps. The TS4 A, O, S, and M must be correctly installed prior to turning on the CCA. Watch the TS4 to module installation video for more information. First, run a 4-wire 4S485 cable from the TAP to the CCA. The CCA is typically installed in a protective enclosure at ground level since it cannot be exposed to the weather or areas with heavy dirt or dust in the air. If you run the RS-485 cable in the same conduit as the PV array wiring to the inverter, then there is an additional consideration. In many areas, the RS-485 cable insulation rating must be the same as the highest insulation rating of the PV conductors. For example, the PV array conductors are rated to 600 volt. Then the RS-485 cable must also be rated to 600 volt. Check your local regulations for further information. Next, connect the four RS-485 wires to the four terminals on the left side of the tap. If you are installing multiple taps, then remove the termination resistor on the right side of the tap and continuing wiring using the same color sequence. Now connect the RS-485 wire on the left side of the tap to the CCA RS-485 terminal. The wiring adapter is removable for easier connection. Although the colors do not matter, the left to right order of the TAP connections must match the left to right order on the CCA terminals. Lastly, it is time to connect the CCA to the AC power source. The CCA requires a 24 volt 1 amp power supply that must be connected to the AC breaker or equivalent. This power supply is available from Tygo. If you use your own power supply, the input voltage of the power source must be between 100 and 240 volts AC and the output must be 24 volts and 1 amp. Connect the power source to the bottom of the CCA 24 volt power supply. Now connect the power supply positive and negative terminal to the CCA power terminals. And that's it. You are now ready to proceed with the rest of the installation.